Uh, all right, Jimmy Kimmel's gonna walk through the door in just a second. <laughs> what? Jimmy Kimmel's inside, uh, and you're gonna sit down next to him and chat with him. So basically, um, you'll walk over to him, introduce yourself. No way. Hey, how's it going? I'm James Kimmel. I'm James Kimmel. Are you James Kimmel? Yep. Are you Jimmy Kimmel? No, no, no. <laughs> Is this weird for you? A little bit. It's a little strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm not the only one. People often refer to me as Jimmy Kimmel, which is pretty annoying. People will call me Jimmy yeah. automatically, but I've typically said, you know, to people, don't ever call me Jimmy Kimmel because I'd like to not, you know, be associated with Jimmy Kimmel all the time. I mm -hmm. want to be my own person. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Someone, someone will accidentally call me Jimmy or assume like they're being cute with a nickname. And I'll be like, no, don't call me that. You can call me James, you can call me Jamie. Jimmy is a no-go. If you think about it, it, it's a little bit interesting because it's, it's something that we live with, mm -hmm. you know? Each and every day, most days, I would say somebody makes a comment about it. Yeah. What would you say is the best thing about having the name Jimmy Kimmel? Because I know like a lot of wacky things happen because I'm named James Kimmel. But for me, since I'm a pastor, and Jimmy Kimmel's most certainly not a pastor, that whole dichotomy of, you know, people will stop me in the grocery store, hey, I watch you, we're live on television every yeah, week. Yeah. Hey, I watch you on TV. I never thought I'd see a church with Jimmy Kimmel leading worship, <laughs> you know? What about like the worst side of having this name? There's not really a negative to it, other yeah. than the daily two to three times a week where people are, you know, they make a joke about it. Yeah. You know, and they say, oh, did you know there's a guy on TV named Jimmy Kimmel, as if I've never heard about him. Yeah, you know, like they're the first person Same to make thing. this yeah, joke. Exactly. Like, oh, that's right, man. That's a super yeah. funny joke. Would you say that life changed after Jimmy Kimmel became famous or? So I, like, all of my social media is not Jimmy Kimmel. So people, for some reason, don't read and think I am Jimmy Kimmel. Mm -hmm. People freak out at me about like his political stance. Mm -hmm. uh, so someone called me a large piece of garbage last week, which oh, is pretty good. cool. Um, How nice. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was so chill. You've got a lot better stories than me, because I don't, <laughs> I don't get any of that stuff. Dogs. Definitely. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite genre of dog? Mm. <laughs> I don't know that I have a genre of dog that I like. <laughs> Elton John, Billy Joel, yeah. piano, rock, yeah. that type of music, because I'm a pianist. Yeah, so. oh, that's amazing. Mine's indie rock. So Sarah or Molly? <laughs> that's, that's fair. It's okay. <laughs> I've always felt like I wanted to be a pastor. The church uh, was really powerful for me and my relationship with Jesus is a really central part of my life. Yeah. So there's great people in the church, but I know great people. not all churches are wonderful and yeah. the church is broken because we are too, but yeah. that's a whole other story. Um, so other, what do you mean other? I mean, both parties have problems right now, I yeah. think, so. So what's your favorite TV show? <laughs> What? <laughs> great minds, great minds. Ooh. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I mean, I peed my pants before, like after an interview in New York City and I just told everyone about that. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about yourself? I think I'm I'm good with people. I like interacting with people. Yeah, I feel that. I agree. Yeah. How many selfies do you take in a day? Uh, I would say on average, like 0.5. I would say zero. A big, <laughs> I'm not a big selfie person. <laughs> you should get in the game. Unless it's with my wife. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh. What's your most treasured memory? I'd say the birth of my daughter. That's, there's nothing better than that. It's yeah. amazing. What about you? So Mount Doom is a real mountain. Mount Doom from Lord of the yeah, Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Climbed to the top of Mount Doom and like looked into an active volcano um, with like three of my best friends. Oh, I got it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> mean tweets. Write a mean tweet to Jimmy Kimmel. Uh-oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna say, hey, Jimmy, I found two Jimmys that are better than you. And we should probably get a selfie. <laughs> I 
think we actually will keep in touch. He has his broadcast that I will definitely tune into at least once. This has been a great experience uh, just to, to share stories with somebody who goes through some of the same things I do. If I could say anything to celebrity Jimmy Kimmel, I would probably say... Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, I just wanted to say thank you for making people laugh at night before they go to bed. I think that's an awesome calling for you because ultimately people need to do more of that in our world today. Tank your career so I can get my name back?